Hi everyone, welcome to The Last Drop, I am Chris. How are you all doing today? Thank you for watching. Um, let's get it out of the way now. Please hit that subscribe, hit that thumbs up, all that sort of jazz. Um, if you want to see more of this stuff, which is me trying Armagnac for the first time. Now I've had Cognac, which is twice distilled, um, but Armagnac is once distilled, I believe. Quote me if I'm wrong down in the comments, but I'm I'm right. I'm right. Never had an Armagnac before. Um, so this bowl, as you can see, completely sealed. Uh, I'm probably doing the injustice with my nails and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I don't know anything about Armagnac really. Um, so this is just a pure reaction video. I've got their website up, um, wherever it is, Janio Grand Armagnac VSOP. Um, this one, I believe it says, where is it? Two types of different distillation in it. That's interesting. Pot stills and single in a continuous still. That's that's rum reminiscent, isn't it? Sort of a rummy type distillation process. Uh, uh, matured up to 20 years. So there's 20 year old stuff in here apparently. So that's cool. That's interesting, isn't it? Um, this is, I think it's minimum seven years old as well, this bottle. Um, and yeah, it's only £30. So that's pretty cheap, isn't it? 29 on Master of Malt. Um, but yeah, let's just get it in my glass, shall we? Let's get it in the old glass. Hear it? Oh. Pop my face. I like the bottle. What do you think of the bottle? It's a nice, nice shape, isn't it? Quite cool. Um, now, I do like cognacs. Um, so I'm interested to see how this is going to be similar. Um, like I say, I only distilled once. Um, rather than twice, um, but again, Agni Blanc, um, grapes, variety, all that sort of stuff that you find in cognac. Uh, so here we go. Generous pour, nice sort of golden colour, probably same rules as cognac, so this probably has colouring in it. Uh, not 100% sure, but... Um, Pretty sure it probably does, uh, but that's no biggie when it comes to cognac and armagnac. It's been done in that industry, the same industry. They work side by side with each other to produce the drink. It's not like whiskey, so you just got to accept that that sort of thing has been happening in cognac and armagnac since it was first made. Basically, uh, you can get it chill filtered and all that sort of stuff, but. Cognac as a drink is has been done that way, so let's go. Let's go in with a little nose, shall we? That is incredibly licorice. Licorice. Yeah, I'm definitely getting licorice from that. I mean, I'm looking at the notes down here that they've said on here, but um, dried lilac, honey, figs, and toasted nuts. But to me, that just bounces out licorice for some reason. That's, that's weird, isn't it? But yeah, fruity, definitely fruity, definitely that. Not getting much nut, but hey, what do I know? It's my first time. First time smelling an almond yang. Nice, oh, it's not unpleasant. Let's give it a taste. We all we all want to taste, don't we? It's very light. Oh, it develops quite, um, finish-wise, it's developed quite a bit. Can't quite put my finger on what it is. Mm. 
Yeah. Definitely some spice there from the oak. There's a weird oak actually. I would I see what oak barrel it was. And it's got Foley Blanc as well. Or sorry, Foley Blanche grapes in it as well. So that's interesting. Tasting. Gold medal awards. All that sort of thing. Uh short and blah blah. Let's go there. So yeah. Uh Montelzuna Oak. Oh. So that's interesting. Don't know what a Montelzuna Oak barrel looks like or what it is or what kind of flavour profile that drops, but I wonder if it's licorice. <laughs> Yeah, interesting. Again, what I mean, the first time I've ever tried Armagnac, so I mean, you know, I, I have nothing to, to go on other than my palate. But yeah, definitely a, a grapey note, um, my, a very light nose, to be honest. I find I'm rooting, trying to hunt around for stuff. Whereas some of the whiskies I've tried uh, recently and stuff are uh, very much in your face. Um, even like more delicate stuff like uh, I've got a new Altmore uh, and a Dalwin. And even though they're more delicate, they're, the nose comes out a lot more. This is very much a delicate, gentle nose. Nice. not yeah it feels it feels watery sorry Jeannot. um there is a flavor there um definitely sort of honey sweetness going on with yeah definitely a lot a lot of spice at the end a lot of like baking spices sort of thing going on in the in the aftertaste and um, which is really nice actually i like i maybe like the aftertaste the most out of the smell and the initial taste but yeah first time and yeah come in for i mean it's quite cheap um it's only vsop and imagine it more aged stuff would be uh, more syrupy i was expecting more syrupy hmm Yeah, not bad, not bad. Very reminiscent of a cognac, um, which is most likely to be. Um, I think Armagnac came first as well, didn't it? I think, if you get me wrong, history-wise, I think Armagnac was yeah came came about before cognac. Um, but yeah, good. I like it. I'm gonna yeah drink some more of it. See how it goes. Uh, it'll be in my um, diary log. Um, which I'm starting to do. Um, yeah, if you'd like to see a follow-up on this one, maybe when I've drank more, maybe when the bottle's developed and been open for a while and the air's got into it, um, comment down below. That'd be great. Um, brilliant. Thank you for watching. Um, my first cognac. Je know. Grand indeed. That was the last drop.